Starting on January 1, 2020, CMS requires that providers consult a Clinical Decision Support Mechanism, or CDSM, as required under the Protecting Access to Medicare Act, also known as PAMA. As part of our effort to support providers who do not have access to an integrated CDSM, we are making a web portal available to providers in order to meet this requirement. I'm a provider who needs to order a head CT on my 75-year-old male patient who has chronic headaches but is now experiencing vision changes. Prior to signing my advanced image order, I need to ensure that I am performing the CDSM consultation. I can do this by accessing the clinical decision support within the Care Select Imaging Portal. Care Select Imaging is designed to enhance patient safety and the patient experience by reducing unnecessary radiation exposure and minimizing repeat tests and delays in diagnosis. It is important to know that this workflow is currently only required for CTs, MRIs, PET scans, and Nuke Med exams. All providers will have access to the Care Select portal regardless of their EMR. Since I have never signed into the Care Select Imaging portal before, I will need to register first. I can do this by navigating to the registration website. Here I will fill in the information and click Submit. I will receive an email once I submit the form and will need to confirm this email before I will be able to access the portal. Now I will navigate to the portal login screen. Here I will enter the new username and password I created during my initial registration. The first screen I'm taken to once I log in is the patient demographics screen. Here I will enter the patient's age and sex. For this example, my patient is a 75-year-old male. As soon as I enter that, I will be brought to the next screen. Please note that this portal does not use any protected health information in any form. This next screen is the service information screen where I can search for and select the exam I want performed. In order to refine my search, I must type in the modality and body part. For example, type in MR spine, CT head, PET breast, or NM bone. In the search services bar, I will type in CT head because that is what I want to perform on my patient. If I was unsure of what exam I wanted for my patient, I could choose the skip service button and could search for an indication instead. Since I know what exam I want, I will choose the CT head brain with contrast. At any point, I can change the patient demographics and service options if I need to by clicking the edit buttons next to each category at the top. I am now at the indication information screen. This is where I will select the indication or reason for the exam. In the search indications bar, I will type in headache. After searching for an indication, I can choose an option from the displayed results on the right hand side. If I were unable to find an appropriate result for the indication I choose, I would click on the Can't Find a Match button in the upper right corner. This will prompt me to provide additional information as to why I was unable to find a suitable indication out of the ones that were provided by the specialty medical societies. Please do not include any PHI in the free text indication fields. The feedback I provide here is regularly analyzed and shared with the specialty medical societies that National Decision Support Company partners with. The sharing of this information is meant to prompt conversations on gaps in content coverage. Since my patient is now experiencing vision changes with his chronic headaches, I will select the Headache Chronic with New Features. Once I select an indication, a list of services from the available appropriateness ranked options appear, given the provided inputs such as selected indication, patient age, and sex combined. Scores are ranked on a scale of 1 to 10, which is divided into four groups based on order and indication combination appropriateness. 
numbers 1 through 3, are displayed in red and are categorized as usually not appropriate. 4 through 6 are displayed in yellow and categorized as may be appropriate. And numbers 7 through 9 are displayed in green and categorized as usually appropriate. And 10 will display in gray and categorized as indeterminate and has no score available. To select multiple indications or remove the one already selected, click on the Edit button in the Indication header to make adjustments. To review the reasoning behind the given recommendation for the defined exam and indications, click on the Display Evidence link. In order for me to complete my Clinical Decision Support Consultation, I must select a service from the available ranked options based on the information I provided. Based on the patient's demographics, service, and indication, I'm being shown that I have a score of 3 for my CT head brain with contrast, which is saying this is usually not appropriate for my patient. The other options seem more appropriate with scores of 7 and 8, which indicate those exams are more appropriate for my patient based on the criteria I selected. Please note that the Clinical Decision Support Mechanism does not use allergies or contraindications such as increased risk of renal injury in determining the ranking of appropriateness. Please be mindful that if a patient has any sort of contraindication, such as impaired renal function or an allergy to contrast, there will be no alert notifying you of this and you will need to use your clinical judgment on what is best for the patient. Once you select the service you want to perform on your patient, a consultation confirmation will display. This confirmation includes the Decision Support Number, or DSN, a unique transaction number assigned to every decision support session. It is encouraged for you to click Copy to Clipboard to easily copy and paste all of the information from the display window into a Word document. This allows you to print and attach the document to the requisition and sent to the appropriate imaging facility.